Across America, schools are cutting their budgets, and many programs being left out are the liberal arts. Our Rob McClendon sat down with Oklahoma City University President Robert Henry to discuss the role liberal arts education plays in a technology-driven world. Well, Mr. Henry, some of the highest unemployment we are currently seeing in our, our country is with recent college graduates. What could that tell us about our educational system here in the country? Well, uh, I think the first thing we need to do is not panic, uh, because we are going through a hard economic time. And uh, it, I actually do believe that uh, the recovery is, is upon us. The Economist magazine had a great cover recently that showed some people in an Indiana Jones type thing hacking through the forest and they see this, this treasure in a Solomon's lost mine and one of them says, what is it? And the other says, crikey, it's the recovery. You know what? So we may be upon on the recovery. The other thing that I think it tells us is uh, that some areas of the economy could probably profit, uh, profit more from education than others. Uh, our school of nursing, we have 100% employment within a month of all of our nursing graduates. And we've grown 40% over the last year. So there are some professions that, that, are, that are in need. Where that is a specific skill that they're learning in the school, uh, the school of nursing, how does that compare to, say, a humanities degree or a liberal arts degree where there, that education may be more esoteric? Well, that's a great question because there is a relationship and it's important. Um, we are a liberal arts school, Oklahoma City University, and so consequently our nursing graduates have to take the liberal arts core. They've got to know something about history. They've got to know something about government. They've got to know something about psychology. They'll get more of that in nursing. And we firmly believe that nurses that have that understanding, that, that core of knowledge, are going to be better when they deal with their patients. But they also teach you how to think and how, how to critically evaluate. And this is something that students and young people need today. Well, Mr. Henry, yours is a conversation I always enjoy. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me.